What do you do when you go to download audio from your Rode Wireless Go 2 and their software just gives you a bar with zebras and never changes? Then on top of that, you suddenly notice that your RAM is shooting out the roof for the single software program. I don't know why they didn't fix it yet, but here's how you can get your audio off of the Wireless Go 2 transmitter. I prepared the folders I'm going to transfer my files to because I don't know how long the RAM will last. Next, plug in your Rode Wireless Go transmitter with your files and open the software. After you click on the Rode and get the never-ending screen of bars and zebras, select your microphone that is now accessible on the Finder. Now, just copy over the files you want and quickly quit the Rode software.